In this video, we will discuss the seamless cloning technique, Gibson assembly. Gibson assembly is one of the more recent techniques that has been developed to simplify the process of molecular cloning. Following the trend that is developing in more recent technologies, several enzyme activities are designed to work together in vitro. This technique is named for its creator, Daniel Gibson, who first published on this technique in Nature Methods 2009. The technique was presented as a way to create exceptionally long molecular clones in vitro. Since its inception, Gibson assembly has proven to be a robust technique that with slight modification is suited for combining both long and short fragments. Similar to overlap extension PCR and infusion cloning, Gibson assembly is based on aligning overlapping PCR products. In figure one from the Gibson paper, the enzymatic steps that must occur to combine any two fragments are shown. Once amplified, the fragments are combined in one tube with three enzymes, T5 exonuclease, fusion DNA polymerase, and TAC DNA ligase. With the three enzymes acting simultaneously, ends are chewed back at their five prime ends, creating overlaps. Polymerase begins filling in at the overhangs, preventing excessive enzyme chewing. When stable, compatible overhangs are created, ligase completes the fusion of the DNA fragments. Once ligated, the original overlapping region is now protected from exonucleolytic activity. The reaction is designed to occur at 50 degrees Celsius, with all of the enzymes having been selected because of their stability and activity at this temperature. In this example, you can see two insert fragments being introduced into a linearized vector. Overlaps are built into the PCR primers. The fragments must be designed to overlap with each other as well as overlap with the ends of the linearized vector. SnapGene supports the design of Gibson assembly reactions that include as many as 10 fragments. To learn more about molecular cloning, visit snapgene.com.